Last week against Japan, um, six tries uh, against a, a much improved Japan side. What uh, pleased you particularly about that performance? Uh, a couple of things. I think the finishing was good. I think we had opportunities and we, we, we took them. And that's, uh, that's a benefit of the scoreboard, but it's also a benefit of our confidence. So that, that when you get the opportunities to take them, that's pleasing. Um, also, the fact that uh, when we, we got a bit of scoreboard pressure, we hit back. Um, so that was pleasing. But as I said in the earlier press conferences, I was never sure was I pleased or displeased with that because I'd like the, the catalyst to be us, not just the scoreboard. So, But I think we showed good composure in regard to that. So uh, that, that showed a bit of growth in this, this team. And uh, so that was pleasing. Some changes to the, to the team for, for this game against South Africa. But when you look at that, that list of 15 you know, plus the guys that are on the bench. What what pleases you about the team you've selected? Well, I think we're showing that we've got pretty com uh, good competition in the forward pack here, and so we're having a look at some good combinations here, which is great. And going in, and I keep talking about the next 20, 22 months of the arduous campaign we're about to hit. We need to ensure that we've got depth and competition for spots. Um, so it's it's a perfect opportunity. You have a look at our lock combinations now, and um, so this gives another mob a chance. Uh, a group of players to show their wares and um, we've always set, a, set our stall out that the autumn was about this, exploring the, the combinations, having a look at the depth of the squad and giving guys an opportunity and uh, we need to do that now. Um, if we don't, come uh, 22 months we might be in a bit of strife. So it's a perfect opportunity and what pleases me the most is there's been a growth in this team in our depth pool. Jim, Jim Hamilton comes back into the second row. Now you obviously got the yellow card in Nelspruit but he also was instrumental in helping Matt Scott score the first try with a, a pick up from the from the, the the breakdown so what does Jim bring to the team Jim's Jim emotional he's physical we accept what Jim is I've said it in previous press conferences he's, um, you know he may be not everyone's cup of tea but we're um, we're coffee drinkers and uh, we're pretty happy to have him and uh, so he, he brings a, a robustness that we, we need and it's a good combination with Richie um, we like that um, so he'll be physical but he's also got skills and, and he calls a line out and uh, so he's different and we like the difference okay you talk about combinations in the forwards and obviously there'll be a lot of focus on one particular combination which may or may not happen and that's that's Johnny come into the second row possibly with Richie. What does Johnny bring to the squad? Look, I, I said this pre uh, previous to the campaign, I thought Johnny's form, he was the best lock coming into this campaign um, on form. Uh, we'd, we'd done the weekly programs and we had a look at every individual aspect of the locks and I thought he was the form lock. We put him aside for this game from day one. That was always, he was in the position that we felt best suited him. Um, I think it'd be great if they get the opportunity to play together, but I, you know, I want to talk about them as individual. They're individual players, and, John, and Johnny's showed some great resolve off the ball. He's, his work defensively is fantastic, and his work post-tackle is fantastic. This kid's got a bright, good future in front of him. It starts now. Um, in regards to Richie, it's Richie's opportunity. He's back from the Lions series, and um, it's a chance to, uh, for him to show some growth to this team. We need a different, better Richie Gray. We need a 24-25 you know, year old lad now uh, that's a seasoned international to show his wares and if we get that combination going all's good for the future. How much is the, the, the line out combination exercised your mind because if you if you look at the, the Pergos try against South Africa from a, from a line out move and then you look at the, the driving play at the line out from South Africa that, that's successful for them so how vital an area of the game has that been in your thoughts? Oh, it has. I mean, you have a lot of the scrum laws. We haven't played off a scrum play in two, two games. We haven't been able to do it. Last week we had six scrums and never played off one. And I looked at the games that occurred on the weekend and the scrums being a limited set piece to play off. Lineouts, however, has gone the other way. Playing off a hell of a lot of lineouts and that's good. That's fantastic for us. It's, it means that it's important if it's a source of possession for both sides. They've got a quality lineout. They've got a quality mall and they're physical that way. We're going to ensure that we can compete there. If we can compete there and get an equal source of quality, we'll be in this game.